Hi everybody, it's Allie from Allie's Losing It Again. Uh, I am coming at you with my four week update. Uh, technically, four weeks will be tomorrow, which is Monday, uh, but I am trying to switch my schedule around to do my weekly updates on Sunday, uh, just to make it easier on me and everybody else. Uh, so throughout this video, I will be drinking some water. I'm very behind on my water intake for today. Um, that is something I've been struggling with, I feel like, for this past week. Um, you know, getting my water and my protein in, um, but I'll go a little bit more into detail about that in a few. Um, I want to thank everybody that's been reaching out and sending me well wishes. Um, I've really appreciated it. So let's get into some stats. Um, let's see. So I am currently 290. Um, so that's only like a one or two pound drop from the previous week. You might see my dog in the background. He's a little bit curious today. Um, but yeah, I've only lost like a pound or two, which I completely expected for week three going into week four. Um, a lot of people say that they stall week three and week four quite a bit. Um, so I am looking forward to getting out of the 290s, um, more than the 300s for some reason. Um, I think it'll just maybe solidify that this is actually happening for me in my weird brain. Um, but yeah, so I am really looking forward to getting out of the 290s, which I'm assuming will be sometime this week. So I'm looking forward to that um, quite a bit. So um, this past week, it was mostly a good week. Uh, Monday and Tuesday, I, you know, went to work, um, performed, you know, pretty well on lunch. Monday, I believe I took like over a two mile walk on lunch, which was fantastic. I even broke one of my uh, personal records for how quickly I walked a mile, which was amazing to me, especially because I've only been doing it off and on for about two weeks now. So that's amazing to me. And then Tuesday, um, I believe I walked about a mile. Um, I was starting to feel a little off, I think, like physically. So Wednesday and Thursday, those are mostly a blur for me because I was struggling so bad with constipation, um, nausea, just a lot of discomfort, a headache, which I get quite a bit anyway, so just that on top of everything else was not the most pleasant in the world. I um, stayed home uh, Wednesday and Thursday. I really was trying not to, but literally I was, I mean, not to be TMI, but I was running to the bathroom every few minutes. So I knew that I wasn't going to make it at work um, because they put my team all the way in the back, like furthest from the bathrooms. It was not going to happen. So I unfortunately did have to take off. Uh, Friday I went back. I was feeling really good on Friday. Um, you know, got back to work. I walked a mile on lunch. Um, I have been trying to wear better shoes to work. Uh, I know that sounds a little silly, but it's easier to walk, you know, in my slip-on shoes or my tennis shoes rather than my Ugg boots or knockoff Ugg boots, not that fancy. Um, but yeah, so I at least walked a mile. It was very slow, but I was getting back into it. So that felt pretty good. Protein intake has been much higher, and I think it's because I've been able to finally get in some protein shakes again. Um, that protein coffee I've been making has been working. Um, I'm actually hoping to maybe get a little bit more protein powder um, and start maybe getting like a cold brew because I've really been missing my iced coffees. Um, before surgery, I was, I had an iced coffee at least five times a week. Um, I know that sounds expensive, uh, but at least it wasn't, you know, espresso. <laughs> it's a little bit less expensive, but yeah, I mean, it did knock out a lot of money. Um, so maybe if I can figure out you know, a more cost saving cold brew that I can make at home, that would be awesome. And then I can have my actual um, protein powder with that. I think that would be perfect. 
Sorry, I had my window open because it is so nice today. So you might hear some kids. Um, yeah, so I've been able to get in, you know, more protein, which has been awesome. Um, but the only thing is, is like, it's so, I'm finding it difficult because I am starting to feel hungry again, which is nice. Maybe, I don't know. I, I go back and forth on it. Um, so then I'll eat, which doesn't have to be a lot. Um, but then I have to wait 30 minutes before I can drink anything. Um, 15 or 15 minutes, you know, after I drink something before I can eat something. So it's like, I'm always timing something and then I'll have water and I can only drink so much because if I drink it too fast or too much, like I start feeling like cramps almost is the best way to describe it. Uh, it is very uncomfortable, tight gurgling I don't know it's it's a weird feeling and I'm still trying to get used to it and it really sucks because you know after I'm doing you know a mile or two mile walk on lunch all I want to do is I just want to down some water like normal uh but that has been so difficult so uh just taking small sips but then the small sips you know even if I'm doing them more frequently I'm realizing I'm not drinking as much water as I should. I'm part of my lips. They're so dry right now. So yeah, I'm just, um, I feel uh, my lips are super dry. My forehead has been super dry. Um, my hands have been super dry. That's pretty normal. Like the lips and the hands are pretty normal for me in the winter time. So it's hard to tell what exactly is um, you know, from the lack of water and that, I just know I don't want to go into the hospital for dehydration. So I'm just really trying to get as much water in as possible. Um, but sometimes it's just, it's hard, you know, um, getting that all the way in, but you know, it's a work in progress. I struggled with my protein at first and I'm, I'm working on it and I'm getting there almost every day. Um, it's just I have to figure that out. Um, doesn't help on, on days that I am at home. I sleep, you know, three hours and a nap. Um, I've always been a good napper, but um, since surgery, I can really take a long nap. So um, I think that's just me still, still healing, um, which is weird because mostly I feel fine. Um, there'll be times where I'm like, ooh, I, I could tell that I, you know, I could tell that I uh, stressed myself a little bit more. I did a little bit more. Um, but overall, I don't really feel that surgery pain anymore, which is nice. Um, my glue is falling like completely off. Now I just have little scars. Um, I have been dealing with that. I hope I don't say it wrong again. Uh, seroma, I think it's called again. Um, that's been driving me crazy. Uh, I have my one month follow up this week on Wednesday. So I am going to have to bring that up. I really hope it's something that they can, you know, take care of or it goes away on its own because I really don't want to. I've seen some people have to have surgery for it. And I'm like, I do not want to go through surgery again, especially in the same year. Um, so yeah, it's just, that's been so annoying. And if anybody else has had it, please let me know because it's driving me crazy. And it's like inside, again, we're TMI on this channel. It's, it's inside my belly button. So, you know, even, especially if I don't notice it for a while, all of a sudden I kind of smell um, that it kind of is leaking again. And I'm like, oh my God, like I'm hoping I'm the only one that can smell it because it is ripe. Um, I try to clean it and take care of it and bandage it when it needs, but it's just, it keeps happening and it's driving me crazy. So, um, I am going to bring that up on Wednesday with the, um, nurse practitioner. Um, Monday, tomorrow, I have a dietitian appointment at my surgeon's office. I noticed whenever they gave me my appointments for follow-ups, they first of all weren't as frequent as I thought they would be. I had a one week, a one month, a six month, and a one year. Um, so I just thought it would be more frequent, especially in the first year, which it's not. So, okay. Um, but I 
uh, decided that because they're all with the nurse practitioner, that I really wanna make sure that I'm on track, I'm eating right, um, I'm not eating too much, and then I just also have a lot of questions. Um, so I decided to make appointments with the dietitian, and I'm probably gonna do that for myself once a month, just because, you know, again, I, I wanna stay on track. You know, there's been so many times where I've been horrible about um, not being honest with my documentation or just not documenting my food at all. That's, that's a thing. Um, and I've been doing it so far, so that's awesome. But I also feel like, what if I'm eating too much? Like, what if my fat intake is too high? What if this is, you know, not enough, you know? So um, I think that's going to help, you know, seeing a dietitian at least for the first few months. So that's something I definitely am looking forward to tomorrow, um, bright and early. So we'll see how that goes. Um, let's see. I did struggle this past week again. Um, I think I mentioned this in the last video. It's It's been an off and on thing. I'm struggling a little bit mentally and emotionally with things um, because I'm not able to cope with food like I was before. Um, which is, you know, not a bad thing because I get to really find new coping mechanisms. Um, but so far, I haven't really uh, dug deep with that yet. So I have been struggling mentally and emotionally. And I've decided that I am going to go back to therapy. Um, I've been going to therapy for years um, off and on. I stopped for a little bit. Uh, at the end of last year, just because things were so busy and hectic. Uh, but I did contact my um, therapist and she's going to get me in, uh, not this week, but the week after. So I am super grateful to see her again and just start working on the things that <laughs> I've been putting off and that I know I need to work on. So it'll be, it'll be a good thing in the long run, but I'm not looking forward to the emotional aspect of it for a little while. Um, so I am down almost 40 pounds, you know, over 30 pounds, which is crazy to me because I don't think I've dropped this much weight like in a long time. And the thing is, is like, I don't feel it and I don't, see it yet and I'm not sure if that's just because oh it's gonna take time you see yourself every day um all that but I really don't I don't know like I just I don't want to say that I feel like I don't deserve it because this has been probably one of the most difficult experiences that I've ever gone through with you know the liquid diet before I even had surgery and then having surgery and going through all that pain and recovery and still going through all that and like not being able to use food as a coping mechanism. So like, I think that I am just having trouble grasping the concept that this is really what's happening. Um, because I mean, right now, like I do feel a little bit loose in my clothes. Um, I know this used to be super tight on me, so this is already a little bit um, looser. Um, my coats are looser. Um, you know, even my shirts and stuff and my belly kind of where it usually sticks out the most, um, that's even decreased. And I know that I've been eating a lot of dairy and cheese, which makes it bloat out a little bit more, but it still is a lot less than what it used to be, but you know, I'm able to walk more and longer periods of time than I was before. So it's like all these things are, you know, showing, hey, like this is happening. You're, you're losing weight. Like you're looking good. You're feeling good. But for some reason, it's just like mentally just not there for me yet. Um, and I don't know if that's normal or if that's like just me, like kind of being like, well, I don't deserve it, like self-sabotaging, cause that's, that's my thing. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, so at least as of right now, I don't exactly feel it. Um, what I'll be doing is I am going to be posting, um, whenever this video goes up, I will post some before pictures of me, um, as well as a picture of my incisions from my surgery date. Um, cause I didn't show those yet. So I'll post them in a group photos on Instagram so that you can just scroll through so you don't automatically see my belly <laughs> right away. So you have to kind of scroll through it. So just to let you know, keep an eye out for that. Um, but yeah, it, it's just a weird concept to get through emotionally and mentally. And I'm sure once I actually um, start being able to work out more, um, start being able to get out more, um, maybe even drop a pants size or two. Like I feel loose in my pants that I wear every day, but I haven't actually dropped any sizes yet that I've noticed. Um, but my stuff before was so tight, like I was pushing it. So I think that's also, you know, a thing. So once I, I drop that, that'll probably feel different as well, which is I'm looking forward to. It's so weird. I've you know, looked at all these before and after pictures and, you know, talked with people that have had this and seen their results. And I just try to imagine what I will look like and be like and feel like. And I just can't imagine it. I should, pro I'll probably go deeper into this in another video. Um, just with everything going on this past week, I was a little too tired to post a separate video but I just it's hard for me to imagine what it's going to be like for me to be an average weight or you know out of morbid obesity um I hate that term it just sounds it sounds terrible but I just hate that term but it's it is true it's what I am um but I just I can't imagine what it's going to be like to, fe to feel like I'm not taking up so much space, like I'm not in somebody else's space. And that's just, that's shocking to me. And then like I have other fears that I'm just going to mess it up like I always do, like I self-sabotage and I think that's like one of the scariest things and I don't wanna I don't want to cry. I'll probably talk to my therapist about that part. Um, but I swear to God, like I just, for some reason I feel like right now I don't deserve it. And that's, that's hard. And it's silly because, I mean, this is one of the hardest things I've ever done. You know, I think this is only second to, or well, this is probably the first, but second comes to when I did drop about almost 50 pounds like seven years ago. And I did that with a personal trainer. That was hard too. Um, but this is even more like <laughs> way heavier than I was then. And it's like, but I self-sabotaged myself then. <sighs> Sorry, this is getting <laughs> way more deep than I thought. Oh my gosh, welcome to Allie's video diary. Um, <laughs> but no, I think that there's a lot that I still need to work on, obviously. Um, and I think that a lot of people just expect this to be the easy way out or, oh, she'll just gain it back or, you know, she, I mean, the easy way out, like you hear it constantly. And in reality, it's like, everybody thinks it's just physical and this is so emotional like I expected it to be emotional but I think that I didn't realize how bad I relied on food to make me happy or feel better when I'm not feeling good and I think that's definitely something that I need to work on um you know and I'll definitely start. Um, I, th I did a little bit of work this week and um, I'll do a little bit of work. I mean, <laughs> it's a constant thing. You're never going to be, and you know, like you never stop working on yourself. So 
I think that's just something I'm going to have to work on continuously over the next few weeks, um, especially while I'm going through all of this. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys coming back and commenting and subscribing and checking in on me. I think it's absolutely amazing um, the support and the amount of friendship that I have received over this. So I do want to, you know, say thank you. Um, please like, share, subscribe, uh, comment. Uh, please leave a suggestion for any any questions or um, any topics that I should share in another video. I'd really appreciate that. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. And you all take care. Take, take some time for some self-care and for some self-love this week. I think that we all need it, especially again, depending on what you believe, but Mercury is going into retrograde, so it's a very trying time with a lot of things, so just take some time for yourself this week, and I know I will. Thanks again, guys. Love you. Bye.